back to the Misfit Toy Collector's Dreadnought Ryan here, and hey, here is my quick review of Chuckles, number 75 in the G.I. Joe line. Uh, great figure. Uh, I have to admit, I was unsure what I was going to, if I was going to like Chuckles or not. Uh, initially, when I saw some of the uh, renders and then just some of the, the, you know, photo art that we've seen, but damn, this figure has really grown on me. Um, again, to go along with the Crimson Strike team, I think packaging has a big uh, part in what makes this figure so successful. Um, so let's just start some of the cool stuff that, you know, I think kind of really helps set it off. Uh, the bag, of course, that the accessories comes in, comes with the same Hawaiian style themed um, flower print and floral print that you've seen, as well as the shadow box that the figure comes in. I think those are great. That's a home run. Uh, the weapons pack that we've seen uh, matches the Crimson Strike. So this is what comes underneath the sleeve, which I think is cool. You get the bullet holes, different things like that. Of course, it looks like a giant briefcase. Just awesome. Uh, the figure is great. Uh, but again, if we're going to talk box art, this is some sort of communication device. Again, this is kind of like the 80s feel. Uh, you do get to see Chuckles after he's taken a little bit of a beating. At the hands of Cobra, uh, you do get to see the Crimson Twins and Baroness, which you see that on the screen for the Extensive Enterprises briefcase as well, too. Of course, when you do flip this open, uh, you do get to see the package art as well. You can see the Extensive Enterprises briefcase back here with gold in it. And then, of course, the stolen plans as Chuckles is trying to escape. Uh, we also get this great little cartoon that you see over here that just kind of goes through the steps of how Chuckles escapes. So um, just the detail and the different features on this box art, it's just absolutely amazing. Um, again, you do get the, the standard, you know, G.I. Joe stuff uh, for ratings and different things like that for the particular figure. Um, but overall, I just think it's the packaging for these two exclusives was really uh, thought together and put together well. Um, for Chuckles, I'm digging the Hawaiian shirt. Again, he does come with his uh, revolver, his 1911, uh, that will holster for his chest. Um, he has the double pe uh, penless, double elbows, double knees as well, too. Uh, he does come with a knife, which you can sheathe right on the side. Some nice paint apps on that, so you do get the silver. Um, and again, I think this is... Uh, a, a knife sheath we've seen before. Uh, his belt does come with a number of different accessories. Yes, that's right. You can see this is one of them, which I'll show here in a bit. Um, but it will hold the you know the binoculars. It will hold the uh, cassette player, all of that stuff as well too. Um, he does have a swappable head. Uh, great articulation because he doesn't have that overlay uh, again. So just really overall, I <sighs> chuckles was a favorite of mine back in 86 when he was released. Um, the movie kind of played down what I thought he was uh, overall. I just thought he was really cool. A mix of Magnum P.I. and, you know, Snake Eyes, if you will. Um, James Bond. All of that rolled into one. It was G.I. Joe's secret agent, and I just always thought he was cool. Uh, accessories that Chuckles comes with. So you do get a pair of sunglasses. With the pink lenses, you also get a lay, which does have some nice detail. It is a harder plastic, so it does lay on the figure. You just have to kind of figure out what the best possible way to lay it on him, if you will. Uh, he does come with a pair of binoculars. Pretty standard. These do clip on the back of the uh, his belt, which is kind of cool. He does come with headphones. Some nice detail on those, some little Sony Walkman. Uh, you do also get the Walkman as well, which is kind of cool because it also gives you either uh, a blaster field or a sound wave field from the Transformers. Um, just something, it's a cool addition to this particular figure. He does come with, of course, a set of handcuffs, which have some really great detail on them. And then he also has the broken set of handcuffs. So you can actually have it set up so you can have Chuckles escaping Cobra by breaking the handcuffs. The file that we saw in the Crimson Strike uh, set 
the overlay you can see is here as well too. We'll get it to focus. It does have the bat. So this is kind of like the top secret documents that does go in the briefcase. You'll see here uh, does have some wear and tear on the outside of it. Uh, and then of course on the inside and then of course you just throw that right in there and then Chuckles can make his escape. You do get an alternate head again um, which matches up to what we've seen and this is probably one of the best paint jobs I think I've seen in a long time with the busted out tooth, the blackened eyes, and that goofy grin. Uh, you can see different cuts as well too. I just think that's a cool addition for uh, figure photography. You do get fists. Let me get this to show. Which he does come with some knuckle dusters, which are pretty cool as well too. So you do get the right and the left for that as well. So overall for Chuckles, again, this is a figure that I... Uh, He's always been a favorite of mine, and it was an easy, you know, I've got to get him. Um, I did find it was easier this year for San Diego Comic-Con to get the figures. Um, they were up for order a lot longer than what I thought they would be uh, personally, but I was able to get a hold of it. I hope everybody else was as, who wanted this figure, um, and then hopefully we get to see him in some sort of retro-carded version that would be cool as well, too. So, hey, thanks again, everybody, for the support. I hope you guys are having a great day, night, evening, morning, wherever you're at on the Island Misfit Toy Collectors. And more importantly, yo, Joe!